Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to take a look at the genetic origins of the Sogdians based on recently sequenced samples which have not yet been published. So these will be published soon in an upcoming study. Nonetheless, we already have the data for these samples as their breakdowns are featured in a chart that was created for the study. So please do look forward to that and that's what this video will focus on. Though keep in mind that we do not yet have the G25 coordinates for these samples. Nonetheless, when the study is released, I will make sure to make a video using the samples utilizing Davidsky's G25 calculator, so do keep that in mind. What you'll be able to see here is that in contrast to the ludicrous claims made by individuals such as Jason Reza Giorgiani and survived the jive, the Sogdians were not predominantly a European population and had significant BMAC or Iranian farmer ancestry. In fact, the data available to us on the chart suggests that the BMAC farmers were genetically very close to the Iran Neolithic farmers as well as the Caucasian populations such as those of the Kuraraxis culture as well as Caucasian hunter-gatherers. Now before I begin, I just like to say that this study was done on the Turkic ethnogenesis and the origins of the modern day Turks, so do keep that in mind. But while I won't be covering that, nonetheless I will be taking a look at the part on the poster that pertains to the Sogdians. Now without further ado, I'd like to begin this analysis. To begin, here we have the entire poster, so if you want an HD version of this, please email me at irantalk95 at gmail.com and I can send it to you. So the title of the study in question was Bulan Kobi, a Hano Sarmatian period group from the Altai are a major source of ancestry for Turkic peoples. Now what's interesting about this study is that it was done by Harvard University which is one of the leading institutions in the world and for Harvard to have this study published is quite interesting and this shows that this is a very well reputable as well as sourced study. Please also keep in mind that while this study is on the Turks nonetheless I'll be taking a look at the Sogdian section of this study based on the chart so this is very interesting and these are unpublished Sogdian samples which will be released once this study is out. Before I proceed I just like to say that these results again will refute the ludicrous claims made by individuals such as Jason Raza Georgiani and survive the jive. Now here is the part of the chart on the Sogdians and what it says is Sogdians are enriched in BMAC ancestry and are genetically similar to Kongju Sogdians. Currently unpublished samples have high levels of BMAC type ancestry. Then it says this ancestry is similar to Caucasus ancestry and Iranian plateau ancestry. This part is actually critical and it proves that unlike the claims made by Survive the Jive, the BMAC peoples were very closely genetically related to the Neolithic Iranians as well as the Caucasian hunter-gatherers. Then you can also see after that what the chart says is that Sogdians are similar to Kongju which makes sense historically as Sogdians are often identified with the Kongju. And finally what it says here is that the different East Asian ancestry found in Kongju is plausibly the same ancestry source, a mixture of Northeast Asian Amur River ancestry and ANE-like ancestry as found in Sogdians is not too dissimilar from the APS rich cis Baikal ancestry as found in Kongju. Thus with this leak you can clearly see that the Sogdians had a significant amount of ancestry deriving from the BMAC culture and as you'll see this BMAC ancestry actually formed the majority of the Sogdian genome. Thus in contrast to the ludicrous claims made by Jason Reza Georgiani these results prove that the process of BMACization was very much a real phenomenon. Again here is the passage in question and this is from Georgiani's 2019 monograph Iranian Leviathan and you can see that he says that there was no hybridization between the BMAC farmers and the incoming proto indo iranians whereas these results contrast his claims and prove that the process of BMACization was very much real in Central Asia. Now up next I'd like to get into the actual breakdowns for the Sogdians. Here are the breakdowns for the Sogdians and you can see that the other Turkic groups are also featured here including some of mixed East Asian and Iranic ancestry. So you can see that the Sogdian actually has around greater than 50% of its ancestry deriving from a BMAC source and then a Sintashta source and it only has minor East Asian and additional ANE ancestry. So what this means is that on a genetic level the Sogdians were very much a BMACized population. 
What's also evident here is that you can see that the SOG genes are genetically very close to the Kongju, which is very interesting and they're virtually indistinguishable. Though the Kongju do have a bit less PMAC ancestry and a bit more Sintashta ancestry. Thus, with these results, you can see that genetically, the SOG genes were indeed the product of a BMACized population and had significant BMAC cancer. Despite residing within Iranian Central Asia, you would assume that they would mostly be of step cancer. Nonetheless, you can see significant BMAC ancestry. And what you can also see here is that on a genetic level, the SOG genes were very close to other groups such as the Kongju again and also the Sokas, particularly the late Sokas and including the Wusun Sokas as well. So what this means is that the SOG genes were very closely related to other ancient Central Asian Iranic groups. And what this means is that they were most likely on a genetic climb between various Central Asian Iranics which means that there likely did indeed exist a genetic cline within Central Asia with some groups having more East Asian ancestry and others having more Sintashta and BMAC ancestry, which is quite interesting and remarkable. And I actually find it quite surprising that the late Sakas are genetically very close to these Kongju and Sogdian samples. And what this means is that genetically, the late Sakas were very much part of the Iranic family. And even with the Wusun, you can see a BMAC shift, which again is quite remarkable and what's also interesting to note is that even some of the Sakas from Kyrgyzstan have significant amounts of ancestry from a BMAC source though much less than the Sagdins as well as the late Sakas and the Kongju nonetheless it is present and it's only absent in the central Kazakhstan Sakas so what this means is that some Sakas did not have this ancestry particularly those of central Kazakhstan but the majority of these ancient Sagdins and Sakas had significant BMAC ancestry. Now before I conclude, I just like to say that these results prove that the Sakas were not some sort of purely Nordic European population and again with these results what you saw was that the claims made by Survive the Jive as well as Jason Reza Jorjani have been largely refuted. To conclude, this analysis took a look at the genetic origins of the Sog genes based on unpublished samples as well as related groups such as the Kongju and the Sakas from Iranian Central Asia which again is quite interesting and remarkable. That's essentially it for this analysis. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.